Hey what's up guys, it's Nelson here with Gadrax and today I'm going to show you guys how to hide text and photos with a password that you can enter in front of anyone. The application that I'm going to be showing you guys is called Touchy Note. So instead of explaining it, I'm just going to show you guys. But when you first open it up, you'll be taken through a tutorial that will show you how to enter the passcode because it's a unique passcode that you have to enter in order to access photos and text that you have saved on there. So first it'll ask you to create a passcode of five digits long. I'm going to enter 1989-0. Okay, so now here you'll see the controls and what they'll look like when you have to enter the passcode. And they'll be called spin controls because they'll have these snake things going around each of them. So each spin control will have magic points in each four directions, left, right, up, and down. Whenever the snake, or as they call it, the spinning arc meets with the point, you can tap on the bottom of the screen in order to enter that number. So let's say I'm waiting for one, so I'm the spinning arc is gonna hit the point now. So it enters one. For two, I have to wait until two hits the now. For three, I wait, and then three, four. So if I wanna enter two now, I have to wait for this to hit two. So the spinning arc has to be touching that magic point. And at the bottom, you'll also be able to swipe in order to do this. So you can move them around and have them touch the desired point. So let's say I want to enter three. Here's three, so it's not touching three yet, and it's touching three now. And then I can tap, and it'll enter three. Here are the snake controls again, and you can also enter a number if you move this and hold it over a point for longer than a second. So let's say I want to enter three, so I'm gonna control the marker and then hold it over the point for more than a second, and you can see that three enters. Let's say I wanna enter one, so I'm gonna spin this until it's over the marker for a second, and it enters one. And so those are all the ways that you can enter your passcode without actually tapping on the number. That way if someone's looking at you, they won't be able to know what you're entering. All right, so now I'm gonna get out of the app and I'm gonna show you guys how to place a photo or text uh, into touchy notes. So let's say I want to place a photo inside of touchy notes. All I have to do is hold down on it and copy it. So now when I go to the app, it'll ask if I want to insert it. I can say yes. And now it'll ask me to enter my password to go inside. So let me show you guys how to enter it. So again, my password was 1989-0. So now I have to wait until the marker hits the one and I just tap down here. So there's one. Now I gotta wait for nine to hit that marker. Nine, eight, eight. I gotta wait for nine again. Nine, and then finally zero at the bottom. All right, well now I'm in the app and you can see that under pictures I have two. So this is the photo that I placed in there and you can see it's completely dark. If I want to view it selectively, I can just hold down and I can see the picture. So I can make sure that's the picture I wanna see. Then I can tap down here and I can now view the picture. So that way, whatever photo you wanna hide, you can delete it from your library and it'll be in here. Once you wanna put it back in your camera roll, you can just tap on save, or you can also tap on copy, and you can also delete it as well. Okay, so let's say that I want to copy some text. All I have to do is hold down on it, hit copy, and when I go back to touchy notes, I'll be able to insert it. So I just hit yes, and if I go to notes, I can swipe over and I can see the text. So this way you can hide something like credit card numbers or phone numbers, emails, things that you don't want people to see, but that you can quickly view by doing this, the selective viewing thing or tapping down here. Okay, so now let me go back and show you guys other ways to get into the app. So here you can see this icon here. So if I tap it, it changes the way it looks. So here's the snake icon and it works similar. All I have to do is wait until it hits the marker there and I can enter the passcode. If I tap it again, this will have a longer snake. It works the same way. And finally, there's this method, which you can use to enter by tapping on the actual button. So if I wanna tap 1989-0, I can get in there. And that's if you're just tired of doing the other method or no one's looking. If you tap down here, you can dim the screen, that way people can't really see what you're entering. And you can also enter it in a different method. So if I tap on this, here you'll see a bunch of numbers. So the only numbers that I can tap on are the ones inside of the box. So again, my passcode was 1989-0. So let's say I wanna choose one. My marker was facing right. So if I wanna choose one, I have to tap on the zero. That enters one. So next one is nine, so I have to enter six. Eight is here, so I have to tap on nine. I have to tap on nine again, so six. And then finally zero, 
and here it is and I can go inside. So whichever way your marker is facing, you have to pick that number. So depending on which way your marker is pointing, you have to pick the number that's next to it. So if we go into settings here, I can show you guys how you can change the way you enter the passcodes. So here you can change the shape of what they look like. You can change the borders. You can change the way the dials look, change the color. You can change the animation to whatever you want, change the speed in which they go. And here in Magic Point, so you can choose either up, down, left, right, and also diagonal. Earlier I mentioned that you could only do four directions, but actually it's several directions. It's more than four, it is actually eight directions. So I'm gonna change it to up, and I'll show you guys how that one works. So now it's the top one, so I have to wait until this hits the top marker. And wait until the top marker. Mm, mm, mm. And I'm in. All right, well that's it, thanks guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and check out the full tutorial over at Gadax. All right, see you later.